Now at 6 a.m. on WKYT this morning, a police chase ends with a car crashing into a Lexington house and police making an arrest in a weekend shooting. Police are asking for help after a delivery driver was stabbed to death at a Lexington apartment. And investigators are planning to make a major announcement today about an ongoing case of stolen bourbon. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Top of the morning to you from the WKYT News team here on Tuesday, April 21st. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. In for Rebecca today. I hope she's enjoying her time off. Should be a nice start to the day, and we don't have to think about showers until a little later in the day. That's right. We had showers this time yesterday morning, and a lot of folks had some rain that hung around parts of yesterday afternoon. Maybe a little better today. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. Good morning. Hey, good morning. I think it will be better today. We'll be right there in the 60s. It'll be slightly on the cool side, especially this morning, but the rain really comes later on. You're talking late afternoon, early evening hours, five to seven is when you start to see that appear into the region. So, which means most of your day is going to be dry. 39 degrees there in Frankfurt. It's in the 40s this morning. Parents, do not forget putting those kids out the door, heading off to the bus stop. It's pretty chilly, so grab a coat, throw it on them, and then kick them right out the door. 63 degrees, mainly during the evening hours, and then it goes overnight and into tomorrow morning. Now, I'll show you some frost in the forecast. We get much cooler than this, even with daytime highs. I'll show you how low we go with those numbers coming up. All right, Micah, thank you very much. And first on WKYT this morning, it has been a violent week in Lexington. Since Friday, there have been two murders and three separate shootings. Now, one of the murders remains unsolved, but New this morning, police have made an arrest in a weekend shooting. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live in downtown Lexington now with all the details. Good morning. Good morning, that's right. A suspect in one of this weekend shootings is now behind bars after a wild chase yesterday near downtown Lexington. Police say when they tried to pull over 19-year-old Cashawan Livers, he took off at a high rate of speed. Officers say as he was speeding away in this East 6th Street area, Livers came close to hitting several pedestrians as he lost control and at times drove on the sidewalk. Police say he eventually got out of the moving vehicle without putting it in park. His car then crashed into a home on Breckenridge Street as he ran away. But Livers did not get away for long as officers quickly caught up to him. Police say while searching the car, they found a gun and were later able to connect Livers to a shooting on Saturday near East 6th Street and Ohio. Investigators say Livers fired several shots into a home, hitting one person in the arm. They say he also fired into a car, causing extensive damage. Livers is now facing several charges, including fleeing and evading assault, wanton endangerment, and criminal mischief. He will be arraigned on all of those charges this afternoon here at Fayette County District Court. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, back to you. Hillary, thank you. New this morning, police are looking for the gunman who robbed a Lexington gas station. It happened just after one this morning at the Thorntons on South Broadway between Virginia and Waller Avenues. Police say a man wearing jeans and a gray hoodie pulled a gun on the clerk and stole cash. It is a story that has gained international headlines. Today, the Franklin County Sheriff says he will make a major announcement about the investigation into stolen bourbon. WKYT's Victor Puente is at our live desk this morning to explain where that case stands now. A lot of folks talking about it. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Bill. That's right. According to the Franklin County Sheriff Facebook page, that major announcement will happen this afternoon. It's a case their office has been working on for a year and a half. That rare bourbon was valued at $26,000. It went missing in October of 2013 from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Sheriff Pat Melton has said indictments in that case could be coming down soon. We're told he's received new tips and new information in the last month. In March, the sheriff arrested Gilbert Kurtzinger for stolen wild turkey bourbon barrels. Kurtzinger worked for Buffalo Trace, the distillery that makes Pappy Van Winkle. We asked Melton if he thought Kurtzinger was connected to the theft. He would only say the case is still open. That press conference is scheduled for 1.30 at the Franklin County Sheriff's Office on Main Street in Frankfurt. At the live desk, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, Victor, we'll keep everybody uh, informed on those developments here on WKYT. Well, an infant is in critical condition this morning after a crash in Lexington. It happened last night on Versailles Road near New Circle. Police say a driver and two children were in a car that was rear-ended. One of those children, a seven-month-old, was the only one hurt. 
It was in a car seat, but we're not completely sure how well it was secured. Police say no one is facing any charges at this time. Lexington police have charged a third person with murder in the deadly shooting of a UK student. A 17 year old suspect was arrested yesterday. The other two suspects, Justin Smith and Ephraim Diaz, have pleaded not guilty. All three people are accused of killing Jonathan Kruger during a robbery last week near campus. Police say they do not expect to make any more arrests in this case. On social media, Smith and Diaz claim to be gang members, but police won't say if they think the two men are actually involved in gangs. A day after a delivery driver was murdered, Lexington police say they don't have many leads. Investigators say 22 year old Salahuddin Jitmood was stabbed to death Sunday night at an apartment on Trent Circle. He worked at the Pizza Hut on Sarin Drive. Police are trying to figure out who made that delivery call that ended up with Jitmood's death. They are not sure if he was targeted or if the deadly attack was random. Friends say Jet Mood was working on a film project. It was so obvious he was trying to make his mark on this world with his art, uh, film, uh, writing, music, rapping, you name it. In a statement, Pizza Hut said the company is saddened by what happened and is cooperating with law enforcement. The time is six minutes after six on WKYT this morning. A Jackson County man is accused of beating his wife while she was driving. Gary Rogers was arrested in Richmond. Police say he repeatedly hit his wife, nearly causing her to black out while behind the wheel. She was able to pull into a parking lot, but witnesses told police that Rogers kept beating her. He is charged with wanton endangerment and assault. Two years after running away from home, a dog is soon going going to be reunited with her family. Tilly, a seven-year-old beagle mix from Lexington, disappeared in 2013. A few months later, her family moved to Utah. But last week, someone found Tilly walking down Hart Road. She didn't have a collar or tags, but a microchip confirmed who she belonged to. And her family can't wait to have her back. First thing I'm going to feel is positivity and being complete and finally my little girl having her best friend back. I just want to hug that dog. I've missed her so much. A member of the Lost and Found Pets of Lexington Facebook page has volunteered to drive Tilly to her family in Utah. They're going to be reunited on Friday. All right. What, what a, a nice sweet homecoming. dog, and yes, what a reunion that's going to be, right? The adventures <laughs> of Tilly, but now continuing with her family, there you as go. it should be. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris and First Alert Defender. We're looking on Defender this morning, and I'm just not seeing anything. Now, look across the state of Kentucky, look at your sky cam. We're looking at Frankfurt, the capital city, and things are flowing just fine there. Dry roadways is just downright chilly. Frankfurt coming in at 39 degrees. Coldest spot right now, though, in Cynthia at 37. I have had some uh, heads up there in Mason County, Maysville, and Mays Lick area saying Corky McCord off of Twitter says 38 degrees there in his backyard. So it's really, really chilly in some locations. Grab that coat before you take off. The kids taking off might have to throw a coat along with them too to go off to school. 63 degrees this afternoon. Much of your day stays dry. I really don't see much going on for today until about 5 to 7 p.m. That's when you start to see some rain slide on in the forecast. And that's really across that I-64 corridor, which does include your uh, round it, uh, Frankfurt, Lawrenceburg, Lexington, Midway, Versailles, Georgetown, and then up toward the northern zones too. So heads up anywhere from, say, Henry County, Grant County, slide down toward the south end of Fayette right around 5 to 7 p.m. That's when you can expect it. And then it slides southbound throughout the night and into tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow morning is going to be your best bet at actually seeing some of that rain, but there's smaller chances. Still can't get rid of it though. Do we want to get rid of it? I mean, that rain usually washes away a lot of that pollen, and that pollen's killing us right now. Much cooler air ahead, though, as we slide off into the forecast tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon at 57 degrees, it's going to be extremely chilly. Remember this, we're typically this time of year in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. So 57 is really cool. And not only that, during the daytime highs, but overnight lows, it gets even colder than that. We're talking 35 
on Thursday morning. That will be a frost possibility Thursday morning, possibly on Friday morning, too. So there's a lot to talk about. Facebook pics of the day. Sun is always there. No matter how much it rains, it's always there. And there you go. Some of us saw rain for about five to ten minutes yesterday. Some of us saw rain for a couple of hours. There was a little boundary situated from Richmond up toward, say, places on the Mountain Parkway, 64, and up toward Flemingsburg that didn't move that much. So you guys got more rain than everybody else. Love the colors, though. Check out the contrasting colors. Beautiful clouds and also uh, those weeds and those uh, uh, fields out there. Beautiful shot there from Heather Wilbanks. So those are your Facebook pictures of the day. Seven-day forecast. Here's your look. And you can see across the way, seven-day, that today and tomorrow, mainly just small chances, 30, 40 percent. But it's really about the temperatures. 57 tomorrow, and we'll look for 35 there Thursday morning. 39 Thursday night into Friday morning. So Thursday morning and Friday morning are going to be pretty chilly. It's one of those mornings that the night before you might have to cover up your plants that you already planted outside. I know a lot of my people in the neighborhood, we went out there and we knocked it out the past couple of weekends. We saw everybody finally came out after this uh, harsh well, last part of winter, and uh, started planting some things. So we're going to have to cover those up yeah. there Thursday morning. Well, a lot of folks have done that in their subdivisions and so forth. You know, uh, right now with the with the pollen count high, and then we if we get more rain, then the those mold counts go up as the well. Mold, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to it's breathe. It's a double-edged sword. It really is. <laughs> a lot Absolutely. of folks having trouble. You and Barb uh, enjoying your <laughs> cough drop. All we're right, we're staying away from you, man. Yeah, we got you. They coughed on me earlier this morning. <laughs> all right, our time this morning is uh, right now six eleven, and every morning we bring you weather and traffic together. And here is Office. Don with a look at what's happening on the roads. Live drive traffic, Don. Hey, good morning. Harrodsburg Road at Military Pike could see a non-injury collision there on your way in. Hopefully it'll be clear in the next couple of minutes. It's Harrodsburg and Military Pike. As we get a look outside to show you what to expect as you get ready to head out the door this morning, uh, with no major wrecks in the way, it's a pretty smooth ride on the interstate. And on our Waze map, there's nothing significant popping up. As you get a look around the circle and man of war, overall view of the city, some live drivers on the way in on the circle itself, uh, and it looks like no major issues. Alumni inbound from man of war down to Tate's Creek. Is a six to seven minute uh, uh, wait right now, and it looks like Nicholasville Road past the county line, one click of the light. Now back to you in the studio. All right, looks like a pretty good ride in. Thank you, Don. 612 on WKYT. A lot more news is coming up for you this Tuesday morning. Coming up, find out what's happening today to the man convicted in a deadly bombing at the Boston Marathon. And details on a consumer alert that could have you throwing away more ice cream.